hello everyone welcome you all today i will show you how to we install the android studio in windows operating system so let's get started so let me open my chrome browser and type for android studio and once we are into the search options so here we have android studio install android studio so we need to go to these options where it will provide it from developersandroid.com and click on download options so once we click on this android options you will see the android studio downloads and we have some offline components and we do have this command line tools only so in case if you are working on some command loans and you wanted only a adb or you wanted to perform some actions with the adb then i recommend you to download only these tools only in case if you want to have some additional features where you want android manager android device manager and android editor then you can install this way so we are in the android studio downloads and we need to go to windows 64 in case if you are on mac or linux and chrome os then you can uh, download these uh, links from here and i am on windows so i will go to this windows and it is recommended in case if you want no installer just go and uh, unzip the zip file and use android studio then you will need to go and select this link so i am selecting the exe file so i will click on this exe file and in here we have a terms and conditions so we need to click on i read and click on download studio for windows so this will take some time so let's wait and see i have downloaded this android studio and uh, now again i will uh, click on this uh, exe file So now the setup is been running. So let's wait. So it's asking for administrator permission. Just click on yes. So now it's saying a uh, uh, launcher so android studio setup launcher so welcome to android studio setup so click on next to continue click next and here you can see the android studio it is providing the android virtual devices too so it's a space required 2.7 gb so again click on next and this is the location so it's an installer location so it's by default installed in the c drive so you need to click on next and it says Android Studio and all these options. So you wanted to create any shortcuts, then you can select. In case no, then click on install. And during this process, it will ask us to uh, provide the location for Android Device Manager like SDK. So we need to provide that location in case if it is asking, else it will be under C drive. So we can still change that location uh, in case if you already install that you can still change the location of android sdk manager and in some systems we need to enable the virtualization so virtualization is a bios setting where you need to enable the virtualization then only you will see uh, devices or android devices uh, will uh, start the emulators so using the the BIOS settings, so you need to allow that too. Generally, the setups take a little while. Uh, because it extracts uh, many files in Android so because its size being uh, 3 GB mm. 
now it's completed and click on next and now start Android studio then click on finish So initially it will asking us to import some uh, studio settings so configuration or install folders so in case if you do not import settings then click on ok if you wanted to import some settings then you can select that folder so in my case I am not seeing any uh, import settings so I will click on ok and do not import settings click ok and uh, data sharing so you wanted to send the usage statistics to Google and don't send click on don't send or in case if you wanted to send you can click on send so it's been welcome so we are into now another studio setup then click on next so we have standard and custom so I will go with the standard setup and it is asking for theme to select so dark theme and light theme based on our requirement we can select And these are the uh, downloadable files and current settings. So Android SDK platforms, Android SDK platform tools, Android SDK tools. And these are the tools that are going to be downloaded. Click on finish. So it will download all these settings. And it will unzip. Then we are into our Android Studio. So this is a one-time setup so once we are done with setup then uh, we can use uh, Android Studio at any point of time. And in later tutorials I will do show you how you launch the emulators from Android Studio and also how we will uh, check for which are devices or emulators connected to the PC using ADB commands and uh, will perform some actions so finally we have finished uh, downloading the, all the components so this is must required so we need to download all the components then click on finish so once we click on this finish option it will ask us to create a, a new project and uh, or open an existing project or get a version control so let's go and create a new project first so we need to select some basic operations uh, so this is like a phone on tablet so I will say basic activity so we need to select this basic activity in case if you have any other activity that you can select so and click on next and here you can provide the application name I will say demo Android studio and click on finish you can select the package name and location too and you can select the uh, the AD, AD SDK version also so now we have successfully created a project here and this is Android studio setup and here you will have the project double shift for search everywhere project view alt plus one go to file shift uh, control shift n recent files control e navigation alt home so these are the quick navigations so maybe in case if you wanted to have some a very handy stuff then you can note these points here and you will see the what new section and assistance here and you can go to what's new section what all things we have here and we still have the project loading on the left section so it will take some time so here you will see the progress on the right bottom so we need to wait till the entire 
system is gets loaded so this is a project that we created demo android studio so these are the uh, the quick uh, standard setup that uh, I have selected for basic activity so these are the code for code snippet for that basic activity and you will see at the bottom the gradle downloads so these are here it is downloading the gradles So this is the uh, setup for how can we install this Android Studio into the Windows operating system and it is same like uh, for other operating systems as well. So I hope this session is useful for you. In case if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to my channel. In upcoming tutorials, I will show you how you will launch the Android Studio emulators and how you configure the Android manager, device manager and all the details we'll discuss in later tutorials thank you